Look at that definition. Let's move this light. Whoa. It's like, it's got some leather. See all these details in leather. So cool. The things that I get interested in. Wow, it's just, wow, it's like definition. 4K definition, new camera, Canon rocking it out of the park. What's going on guys, Chris here from All Arm and Leather, back today with my second episode in my series, how to get started in leather craft. And I am so, so pumped for this one because we are going to be making this wallet right here. I have a free PDF download for you guys. So the first thing I want you to do is go onto my website and download this PDF. All the tools and products I use are gonna be linked in the description below, so go and check that out. My website is also going to be down there for you to go and download this PDF. It is absolutely free. I just want you and me to make a wallet together. Okay, let's get into it. Okay guys, so we have cut out the main body section. I'm going to suggest that we leave this bit here. Don't round off those corners, just cut it straight, straight along. There are actually three pieces to this wallet. However, today we're not gonna use this midsection. Okay, we're just going to use the main body and the strap. Now if you want to go ahead and use the midsection, be my guest, do whatever fun creative things you want with this pattern, you can make it your own. But just today we're just going to use the strap and the main body. Okay guys, so next step is going to be to glue. I use EcoStick 1816B. I'll leave a link in the description to where you guys can get this. So what I've just done is on our template, I've marked where that curve is going to be. And now I'm going to take my knife and I'm just going to cut in there. So now we've got this little flap and that's just gonna help us know where to fold the leather. So take your scratch all and mark where the leather ends after you fold it over. So now when you unfold, we should have a little mark here and a little mark there. Okay, next step is wing divider. So we take our wing divider, this literally just marks a measurement. I'm gonna run that down, scratch all the way down, nice and heavy on that scratch. It's going to give us where we are going to glue. I have this set to six millimeters.
So most glues you're going to want to give a minute to just let them dry and make sure that they become really tacky. Eco Stick's quite good for this though because it's very, very, very fast drying. So basically the minute that you stop seeing white, you can fold it over. We've got our main body of our wallet now. We've got our strap. We've stamped it. So we've marked just below the angle on each side. And then we're going to rough it. We're going to do that with the back of our knife and that's just going to make the glue stick a little bit better. We've attached to the flap. Now what you're going to grab is actually a coin. Okay, now we're going to use the coin in the same way I would use my corner punch. We're just going to mark a curve around that corner and then we're going to cut it. So let's do it. So Bit of bad news, we lost the sound on our last scene. Don't know how that happened, but we skipped a couple of steps. We we're a couple of steps further ahead. So I'm just gonna talk you through what we've done so we can catch you guys up. So after we've curved the edge of our wallet, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a wing divider to mark a stitch line. Now I'll roll in some footage of me doing that right now. We're gonna set our wing divider to four millimeters. That's a really good amount of distance between the edge and into the leather of where a stitch should be. Now I decided to go for a thicker thread on this one just because I like the way it looks purely for aesthetic reasons. So I'm going to use my Cinebrox stitching punches. Okay, so now we have a wallet that is punched and ready to be sewn. So let's get sewing. One tool that's really going to save you guys a whole lot of trouble in the long run is a good stitching pony. These guys pay for themselves really, really quickly. Now I've got one from Romanov Tools. This is quite a nice one. It's handmade with walnut. You can just see the quality is beautiful. And it clamps using this little, well, clamp. I've had this guy on the steering wheel of my car I've had this guy all over the shop. I do have one there. It's fine, it does the job. Bought it on Amazon. It was fine, it's just not as good. When you pay for a premium tool, you just get that premium. It's just You just get premium, it's just good. So I decided to go with a gold thread from Tiger Ritza. This is a .8 millimeter thread. So let's thread a needle. So we're going to take our needle and you're going to put this thread through the eye of the needle. You're going to pull it through. We are going to pierce the end of the thread. So through the eye here, pull it out, pierce this side of the thread and then you're just going to pull it through should look something like this. And you're just going to pull both the needle and the end of the thread. And now you've got a nice strong knot there. So now we're just going to sew up this side. Now remember, Back stitch right at the start, in from the left, 
underneath with your right needle, pull that through, pull the thread down, in from the right, pull the left thread over and pull. So now that we've finished our stitch, we're going to do what's known as a back stitch. We're just going to go back up. And I always like to say by one and a half times, depending on whether it's a, a high point of friction. If it's a high point of friction, like where the card would slot in, I'd say three and a half. Burn. Mug with a dash and done it. It's Marvin. It's my boy. Hmm. And sometimes you need a break. You feel in that way, just stop. Get some coffee, rehydrate, refocus. Mug with a dog on it. Let's talk about this wallet. We have sewn up our wallet. Now what we're going to do is hammer down these stitches and then we are going to sand this edge. Okay, so we're just gonna sand these edges flat. It's a very, very coarse. 80 grit sandpaper. You want to make sure that there are no little bumps or dents in that edge. So when you are sanding an edge, the sky's really the limit on how far up the grits that you can go. I have friends who go all the way to 12,000 grit. I personally like to finish at about 2,000 grit. Sometimes I'll go to three. Um, I start off with 80 grit sandpaper. Now what that does is it gives you a really, really clean surface to work on and create a really nice shine on that edge. So we're now going to start sanding. I've got token oil mixed with water, tokenol from Siwa. So I take a little bit of a cut up sponge, I dab it in the tokenol, I just brush it on the side, I get my sandpaper and I start sanding. There's the shine already. You can see the difference between the side we sanded with token all versus the side we have left. Let's do the other side. The last thing we're going to do, take a little bit of beeswax and we're just going to rub it on that edge and that's just going to seal your edge. You put a lot of hard work and love into your edges, you don't want them to just fade away to nothing. So we put a little bit of beeswax on there, take a lighter, we're just going to Melt the beeswax on the edge. Take a canvas rag and we're just going to rub it in. Okay guys, so we're at the last step. So when we glue, sometimes a little bit of glue can just spill over a little bit into the pocket. So we take this tool here, which is called a bone folder. Mine's not bone. It's made from very beautiful wood actually. And we're just going to put it in here and we're just going to work the inside of that pocket just to make sure that no bits of glue have been spilled onto the inside. And then we take our tester card, pop it in. Guys, if you're still here, I am super impressed. 
good job, good for you. And we made our first little card holder. How awesome is that? This little guy here will hold up to eight cards and he is super, super minimal in your pocket. So there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I certainly did. I've been wanting to give you guys a free PDF download and make a wallet with you guys for a really, really long time. It means a lot to me that you guys stuck out to the end and made a wallet with me and chose one of my designs as well. That really means a lot. If you guys liked today's video, I'm going to be doing loads more of these. We've got another, another card holder design coming out in a free PDF download. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget, if you did like the video, to give us a wee thumbs up. We would really, really appreciate it. And if you did make a wallet with me today, chuck it on Instagram and tag me in it, at Orem and Leather. I would love to see what you guys come up with. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Thanks for sticking around. See you guys next time.